here. Meeting is being recorded. Okay, anyway, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here um, again for another online CS Masterclass. We were able to do this uh, last year so successfully. Um, so happy that you all could join here. I don't want to talk too much because I know I only have about 15 minutes with you guys. Um, but yes, I just do want to to say a little something about Opera Theatre St. Louis, we are doing um, Highway 1 USA. And if you guys don't know about it, there's a recording on YouTube, not of us yet. <laughs> and hopefully we will capture this and it will be available. A great opera under 50 minutes um, by William Grant Still and the first opera I have ever performed by a Black American composer. Um, so I think it's very significant. And there's an article today in the New York Times about it. So get online and read about it if you haven't already. So enough about that. Let's get to our singers. So um, just based on my list here, I'm just going to call names. Um, so let's start with Marin and just uh, announce what you're going to sing. I don't have your music. So we'll, we'll just. Okay. Cool. Um, well, hi, my name is Marin, um, and I'm going to sing an excerpt of Piangio la Sorte Mia uh, from Giulio Cesare by Handel.
absolutely gorgeous. I didn't even want to clap <laughs> because I wanted that mood to stay Ooh, so beautiful. How long have you been singing this? Um, maybe about four weeks. No way. Yeah, we started it close to the end of the semester. So it's just kind of like a fun little summer project. You sing a lot of Baroque music. I like Baroque music, yes ma'am. Your voice is very well suited to this music because it handles those ornaments just with the most graceful, elegant uh, approach. And you have a, a very beautiful and easy technique and grounding. You sing into the space, which I really, really appreciate from Young Singer. Um, just say a little bit about what you're thinking uh, as a character um, during this. Of course, we, in the interest of time, we don't get the first, uh, the first part, um, but let's imagine that you do that you have sung that and you know when you're coming back for the repeat you're you're thinking something a little bit different aren't you you know so so give me a little bit of a your your take on what the character cleopatra is going through right here yeah so kind of and i know i kind of skipped like the first part like the a section so like usually when i sing at the a is just just kind of regular just kind of sadness and just kind of lament um, B is, is angry, um, she's fiery, she's upset, um, and then I kind of see like the return of the A is kind of a little bit more of acceptance, um, kind of her fate, you know, um, her lover, you know, um, she says, she, she says like, wow, I just totally word botched it, sorry, she, says, she thinks he's dead, um, so she's kind of alone, and she thinks her brother's going to take the throne, and she's just kind of lost everything that she's worked for, um, it's just kind of her being like, okay, well, I guess, I guess this is kind of it. Right. So there's a pain that sort of bleeds into a numbness. Um, and and I think that when those moments of pain and you, you can find those in the those gorgeous ornaments that you do, you really think you just feel that kind of twist of pain in those moments, you know, and then find out when you want to be resolved, because it's not the whole thing isn't going to be. Mm. You have to t take us on a journey, of course. Um, we'll hopefully have time to do some of that a cappella. Um, so just a couple little details for you. Uh, when you're singing this B section, the angry section, you can really use the words to bring out that anger. Ma, when you start the ma, the, this, this section, have your M formed. Ma poi mor, and use that double, um, use that R, that that rolled R to really like rrr, bring the anger out so you don't ever have to go on the chords to do that. Ma poi morta, non intorno, right? Um, can you just start, and again, I don't have your music with me, so if you can let me know what pitches those start on, if you're looking at the music, I can give you a pitch from my keyboard, because I'm in a hotel right now, so I have it on my iPad. <laughs> I actually, I have my mom. She played the piano. She accompanied me, so she's looking oh, at the music. Brilliant. Okay, so good. Just <laughs> imagine that you're going to start that B section again. And you've already, before you begin, ma poi morta, you form the word ma poi morta. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's just try and I'll stop and start you. And that was already stronger. Thanks, mom. <laughs> that was already stronger. Ma poi morta, doni intorno. It have direction there. Doni intorno. Da 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 da. All right, and then it's the same thing as you go on. In tirano, e notte giorno. That'll make it stronger too. Somebody says excellent ornamentation skills. I appreciate your technical freedom and imagination. Oratorio instructor at University of Toronto. Okay, <laughs> I agree. All right, one more time. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm getting fatospatro there on the words. Yeah, yeah, so fat, is it fata with fatospatro? It's not one, I don't, again, I'm sorry, I don't have the music. It's not one T or two T's, fata, fata. 
It's one T. Pas de spare, pas de spare. So before you go up to that, that leap on spare, create the space inside. It's not just a unhinging of the jaw, which it is, of course. Pas de spare. If you have a lift at the same time, we can get a purer vowel from that. Okay. Uh, il tirano, hey, notte giorno. You want to take it from Il tirano. Again, Fata Spa. You can just take it out of context and just sing it by itself. Fata Spa. Fata Spa. Open up your mouth a bit more. Eh, like eh. So in other words, we, we, we run into these vowel problems a lot with, um, with younger singers because when we lift, we tend to bring our jaw with it and we get spa. <laughs> so, and then when we unhinge, we get this is American thing, right? We get this spa, spa. It's a dual opening. You can go slow if you want to feel that. Just, just take spa by itself. Spa, spa. Opening both ways. That's that's closer. That's closer. Yes, I was hearing spa before, so I'm hearing a a little bit closer now. So can you try the fato spetro? Fato spetro. Work on that because yeah, you don't you don't want to open up your mouth, and when you did it um, before, you did open up your mouth, and it was better. So just try one more time. And we're going to go on, but you'll know that that's one thing maybe you can look at. Good. Now with meaning. <laughs> you got it. You got it. You got it. It was beautiful. Great. Um, I wonder this one. Agite, agitero. You know, there's me. There is a direction in that word. So you trust that you know the runs. I want you to take us on a journey as listeners. Agitero. That's where you're going. So. I don't necessarily want you to hold back, but just think that that's the in the beginning, but just think that you have a direction towards the end. And if you can bring some of that anger to to the singing, if it starts to affect your um, technique, I'll tell you, but um, but just try again. Let, let the anger possess you a little bit more. Good. That was already better. So I pointed to my eyes because I have crazy eyes. Um, <laughs> but I think that helps you because everything else can be loosey goosey. But if it's in your eyes, right, that's anger. And I could not be more loose. Oh, Oh, no, no, no. So just just do this little exercise. We try to do this in front of a mirror sometimes. <laughs> Cover your mouth and your nose and be fierce with your eyes. <sighs> Feel the anger. Have you ever been really mad at somebody and your eyes, you know, name dropping. Joyce did an auto gave me that. That's the advice from her. Just that it's all in the eyes because otherwise it'll come like here. Uh, it's all in the eyes. Can you open your eyes <sighs> and then make them angry. Yeah, <laughs> you looked mad. <laughs> there you go. So you know, it's not about, we're going to have to, I have more to say in the A section, but I'm just going to tell you uh, the doc capo. Um, but I just want to say that was actually a really cool improvement. Um, it was, it was more on purpose. And did you feel anything here? Not as much. I didn't. I didn't focus on that as much, and so I just. I feel like it just kind of felt a little bit more natural. Good, 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 good. Um, that was beautiful. So just a tiny couple things to talk about in the da capo. 
and we have like a minute and a half. So avrò, piangerò. You can sing those closer to what is like an Italian open O is almost has the flavor of ah in it. So make sure that you're not saying piangerò, piangerò. It's like halfway between an ah and an O. Oh, as you know, it's an open O, but we just, we don't tend to go like, oh, enough. And so you have that avrò as well. Um, so just start the, the little, the beginning of the da capo. I love your ornaments. Those were great, whoever gave those to you. Um, we won't have time to do the other stuff I'm t talking about, but the before we go, petto is double T. So make sure to get those double T's in there. So just start again and with the minute we have left. You know, when you're about to cry, everything opens up. So it's a good place as long as you don't actually cry and then you get all the, oh, but <laughs> let that be start for you. It'll color the pia. We need more color in that, that word. One more time. The ro was great. The ro. Good job. That was it. So, so, oh, it's okay. We're at time. So just, um, you can go further, trust your brilliant technique, your gorgeous spinning silvery voice, your expressive face, trust all that and know it's a new piece, but you sing it masterfully, um, to then go to the next level and give us oodles and oodles of color. We want to feel what you're saying and if you feel it we will feel it and you know there's a there's a line where you can go too far and, uh, yeah, and it's too much you i don't feel like that's gonna be a thing for you um so so yeah just take yourself further there and um boy oh boy this is gonna be a great piece for you to bring to contests and sing everywhere so looking forward to hearing you a lot <laughs> well thank you so much great work thank you all right, so let's move on to Skylar. All right. Hi. Hi, Skylar. What are you singing for us today? Well, my name is Skylar. Um, I would like to sing Vaga Luna Que in Argenti by Bellini. Great. I'm already 18 years old. All right. Well 
beautiful piece. Now tell me more about yourself. How are you in school? What is your what is your situation? Well, I am 18. I graduated from um, from high school in 2020, and I took a gap year uh, just to really work on my private study and really focus on honing in my technical skills and learning all my theory and all that just so I'm prepared for conservatory. You're 18? <laughs> you saw my eyes went, mine. <laughs> wow, bravissima. Thank um, you very much. Is the piece newish or older or what's the deal with the piece? Relatively new. I, I learned it a long, long time ago and I've just recently in the past few weeks picked it up again. Well, you have an old soul. You are very <laughs> I would not have guessed you were 18 years old. Oh. All right, so I'll go gentle. Um, <laughs> there's not much to say interpretively, except um, I think you can take less time be between some of the phrases. I feel like sometimes the direction of the phrases kind of stop. Mm. Um, are you with live at pianist right now? I am, yes. Fabulous, good. Bravo, brava, whoever is playing for you. Um, so I would actually ask you to maybe either tick this up in tempo or um just think of it moving a little bit more mm. um, before we talk about that can you talk to me a little bit about what you think of when it comes to breathing and support um i i think that's one of the most important things to say uh very i generally try to keep it uh centered and and deep and um you know in the in the tire not in the upper body good 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 and, and you think about your ribs staying out, right? Yeah. Good, good. So I actually feel like your alignment's pretty good. Um, but I do feel like there's a lot of air coming out in some of the words and some of the phrases. Do you do you feel that or do you talk to your teacher? I, I do. Sometimes I, I lose breath because of that. Yeah. And have, have you done exercises specifically for basically um, condensing your breath into a smaller core or focus? I don't believe that I have. So right now, if I was to just kind of speak, I'm in my second register or in my uh, singing voice, my ribs are up, but I'm losing a lot of air. So a couple things that, you know, your cords are just like a little bit, so much air is coming through. So have you done like an exercise with a straw by any chance? Yes. Yeah. So that's that's a <laughs> dispersion exercise to get the sound to be more focused. Um, another is just doing a little hiss. You could just hiss through the whole phrase if it's dum da dum da 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 da. You just hiss through the course of that phrase, and the point of that is, of course, you concentrate on how much air is coming out, and you try not to use more than that when you're singing. It doesn't take that much. So I'm giving you a lot here, but one exercise that I think I actually want to do right now is a siren exercise to get <laughs> that. So what is your first pitch? What is that? A. Uh, a. You already had more focus when you did that. Uh, <laughs> you weren't trying too hard. So the whole point of a si uh, siren exercise is to just make it natural and free and, and try to just Find the space here and say the whole phrase in time around the pitch range. So, okay. And so I wasn't trying to be, you know, pretty with it. Just find your space and try that for me. There's tons more focus in that. I don't know if you're aware of that. Could you keep going? Sure. Yeah. Well, I, my question actually was, could you keep going oh. in that phrase like you didn't have to take a breath, did you? I did not have to take a breath. Yeah, so so you try not to use much more air than that. So let's try go, going back to the first couple of phrases. I want you to sort of think half siren, half singing. Okay. When you start to lose air, think siren. Siren, okay.
it, it, it was so gorgeous. <laughs> it was so gorgeous. In fact, I think the the sound got a little bit. Um, so one thing that this uh, COVID year has taught us is that when the sound becomes really um, distorted, sometimes that's because there's so much resonance on the other end <laughs> that the microphone can't handle it. So that happened at the beginning. It was just so much focused sound. And you, you can continue to practice on the siren with just relaxing this. Don't feel like you need to be trapped you know just just as you did with the sound production but you can be a little bit freer and looser here in your articulators that's another lesson for another day with your teacher and i'm sure you're working on that but the sound itself was so much more focused where i feel like we lose you is when i, I wrote down some of the words um era me palpiti contal those ones and they're palpiti right palpiti contal you don't want those to be plosive mm. uh, so i don't know exactly again thank you i don't have the music so maybe you can figure out where that is uh and and we yeah. can era, era me from from that one yeah let's go tell me fair you know okay. So let's take it you have for 18 years old it is mind-boggling um please keep singing whatever you do uh, i want you to do that again because it was sung sung perfectly beautifully but here's an instance where i feel like the sound just the, the direction of the music just stops Amora con dai palpi, keep going to Jesus spear. You get the idea. So when you feel like that, mm, like you're stopping and you're trying to find your position, now let's just trust it. You might get some air coming out, but it's okay. You now you know what to do when you go back to the room. So let's just try this for music. Yeah. <laughs> economical now so i don't know if you know what that means it's like imagine you have 100 bucks to spend <laughs> right on your voice you've only spent 20 bucks you haven't spent all 100 all the air that's come out save some of that put it in the bank for interest for the end especially if you have a recital my lord you have to sing very economically um that was beautiful so is it a, a, a thank you for your patience Eda me or Eda le Okay, so I think you can make that whole phrase now, the way you're singing. Probably, yeah. Okay. Can we try that? Do the first one and okay. then the second.
was good. Did you feel that your ribs went yeah at the end or did you have? Yeah, yeah, I started compressing a little at the end. Do me, do, do this exercise. The, the siren one in, his, in the same tempo that you would sing it. You have breath left over, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try it. <laughs> you the only thing you ran out this time is because the breath the intake didn't you didn't give yourself enough of a relax intake so but hey you got through that phrase no I did, yeah so you have you have breath support um it's just a matter of finding a series of exercises that work for you to use them i mean if you when you do the straw, sometimes I'll do the straw exercise and I'll just blow it out through the length of, of the phrase. Um, another, sometimes I will just take it like an inch from my mouth, like a pencil or something, an inch from my mouth, and I'll just sing. I'll sing the actual song, but it'll, I don't know, play some mental trick and makes me think I'm singing it through the straw. You don't actually have to, just soft palate stays up. So that's um, step two, I guess. Um, but you, you, you're so young, and it's just like the whole world is your oyster. Um, best now to just commit to singing economically, singing in a way that's super duper comfortable, and um, and and let that be your guide right now. You don't have to do anything much more than that. You don't have to be diva extraordinaire, sing repertoire that's within reason because you've got this great big voice, don't you? It's a lot. <laughs> Yeah. Very loud. Yep. So sing repertoire that feels comfortable and that's within your voice and sing it with your voice. Mm -hmm. the richness there. Don't try to hold back with this breath exercise. You had full color. Stay stay in that uh in that world there. We're at time. Um beautiful work, Skylar. Beautiful. I can't wait to come on. <laughs> <dish. Yes. laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right. So who's next? I have Leah and Mackenzie. So why don't we do, or is it Leah? Um, would Leah like to go? Yes, uh, let me move real quick. Here I am. Hi, Leah. So what are, is it Leah or Leah? Leah. Leah, um, what are you gonna sing for us today? Pirbino. Non so più cosa son. Hey, one of my faves. Great. All right, when you're ready. Non so più cosa son, cosa faccio. Oggi por corazon, non mi caccio. Non è donna che già ti conori. Non è donna mi fa vedere. Oddio, non mi fa palpitare. Oddio, non mi fa palpitare. Oh, 
being such a good sport with your piano accompaniment <laughs> we we give a wide bar for that um good good work dear so tell me a little bit about um yourself and your um relationship with this piece uh me i'm 16. Wow. So, um uh, this piece i've worked on it like two months ago for like two weeks then i got distracted with another piece and then yesterday i'm like I'm singing in a master class. What am I going to sing? I'll sing this piece. <laughs> All right, good. So it's newish, but not newish, but sort of newish, but okay. And you're 16? My Lord. You can tell by the, there's some sounds you're making at the end of the piece. I just go, okay then. And I want those sounds to be more present through the piece. You find more space and um, you're just, I have, how long have you been singing? Um, I went to choir when I was 12 and I'm like, oh my god, I love to sing so much, so. Good. All right, listen, I actually, I'm pulling up this piece here. Um, I want to find that phrase you, you're, you're doing. Che il suon de vaniacenti portano via con se. That's the word placement on that. Um, can you try that again? Because I think you're doing, you got like... <laughs> before you yeah try it again and there's the word placement good 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 i just want to make sure that we got to that yeah yeah um good so my feeling on this for you since you are so young and you're, you're sort of learning this piece character wise first it seems um is just strip it right now of the meaning of the piece for a second just so we can work on something technical um alignment so <laughs> yeah for alignment i mean what do you think of with alignment because there's all kinds of ideas when i say the word alignment what does that mean to you ear shoulder hips yeah yeah and, and i would encourage yeah. you to think of the back of the head too um that you know you just have like some people stand up against a wall but that you know you have a sort of height height here tallness and maybe you can imagine a crown on your head diva or you can imagine books on your head or something that just keeps you still in a comfy way right we want to go ahead and take a breath and just let your ribs expand all right and you feel that you know you still have a lot of movement there you want that area just when you're doing this exercise here to feel nice and rubbery so that nothing's stiff or held. But look at you, you're beautifully tall and everything is where it should be. The shoulders never come up. We just keep the shoulders relaxed. And when you breathe, I want you to think that you're really dragging the breath up all the way from the floor, up through the pelvis and the belly and the chest. And then it circulates back to the ground. So we have this like real beautiful circular motion when we breathe. Okay, all that to explain the inhalation and exhalation process. So when you are beginning this piece, those are your pitches. I just want you to take that inhalation and just stay put, let your mouth do the work. Right, so we just stay tall and try that for me, okay? 
Non so più cosa son, cosa faccio, ho di far corazon. <laughs> See, you automatically want to do this. Yeah, you can just, just, yeah, just be still, be zen. No. And find the space on the inhalation. Does this make sense? Yeah, okay. No. You already have space. Non so più cosa son, cosa faccio, ho di far corazon, ho di faccio, ho di donna che già è di canurri, ho di donna mi fa papitar, ho di donna mi fa palpitar, ho di donna mi fa palpitar. Good start, good start, yeah. When you go up to the top, na, 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 it's our tendency to, when we're going up high, to kind of squeeze it up. I want you to think, no, no, no. That you find more and more space as you go up high. Good, good job. You're coming up on your toes. So, so just again, listen, I want to tell you a couple good things that, that before we go on. Um, you did this exercise, which ultimately was a way to get your hand to be still. I liked it. You used your instincts to go, well, this doesn't feel comfortable and I'm doing this. So let me put that somewhere here and I'm keeping my shoulders down ah, as a consequence. So that was fine. Yeah. That's a beautiful song. That was all fine. And then when you come up to on you do, when you do the on you do, you know, you're making those words, your mouth closes up to make the words. That's natural. But I want you to think that you still have space inside, even as you're going up to the top. I have space. I'm not going. There you go. Try it slow. There you have space. And now we're just going to imagine that the breath is working for you that the breath continues to move through that whole on you do. You can take it slow. I just want you to feel the sensation. So what I'm getting now is on you do. You're getting the space, but there's no breath under it. So try now and think oh, that you have breath flow. Try that little siren for me. Ooh. Yeah, can you try that again and really be on the breath? Now really stay on the breath. You've got sound in there. You've got sound. What you just did before then was like interesting because your voice got really big. I feel like, you know, you have to be careful because you don't want to drag up weight. But that was pretty good. All right. So try moving into that. Not so you cosa son, cosa faccio. And then when you get up to the only do support support and find space okay here's your pitch say the words say the words Good. Let's do it in, in rhythm now. You're doing great. So what do you think about this, this exercise that we're doing? Like, do you like it? Does it feel good? Does it feel weird? Weird. It, it, well, how weird? Just not used to it. Yeah, and, and that's okay not to be used to it, as long as it doesn't feel bad. I feel like you're finding actually some freedom in your body. Think about a tubular sensation. I think of a big old straw, a big old straw, shunk down from my head, through my neck, through my sternum, down my body, all the way to the floor. And you can move around ultimately, but when you're thinking about breath flow, you don't want to get your alignment to add whack because you're like putting a bend in that straw, <laughs> you know? So this helps. And when you initially started, it was very um, active 
and your body, I think, suffered a little bit of support and openness and warmth because of that. So can you actually go on? I think, I don't know, 722, I think we got like three minutes. Um, go on to the do, 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 do. Parlo d'amor, okay, here. Parlo d'amor vegliando, parlo d'amor. Okay, are you comfortable doing this a cappella? Mm -hmm. We're, it's a new age, right? We got to be adaptable. So here. Parlo d'amor. Parlo d'amor vegliando. Good, so just think that now. Think the height. You can let yourself feel a little bit freer, but mm, mm, try not to try to stop yourself from, mm, mm, mm. yeah. Parlo d'amor. Keep going. coming out. I want you to try that phrase one more time. And I want you to think that it's all one long line. The, the, the end was great. You still have a tendency to want to go, que suon de vanyache, and que suon de vanyache. If it helps you to do this movement, do this movement. But it's so far pretty good. It can be even better. Que, que suon de vanyache. Try it slow. Try it slow through the whole phrase. Make that last the whole phrase. Good. We had you got it now. We gotta go a little faster. Can you just do it like that? Pretty good. So you're singing it much better now. Um, when you do this exercise um, on your own, if you like it, which I think it will be very helpful for you, um, and my students have a hard time with this too, because it's like, Ooh. but if you can make this gesture last the whole phrase, you'd be surprised how much more flowing the end feels. Because right now you got, you got halfway, that was good, but it stopped here for your high notes. <laughs> yeah, so, but that's okay. This is something you have to learn. So try, uh, we have to go, but try on your own when you're, in your, when you're studying this movement. I have to say, I really, really enjoyed how you sounded um, when you were a little bit more steady. And then you get that in the character, okay? But just my advice is to work on um, steadying your body and just getting flow of sound and legato first. But uh, good work, dear. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right. So yeah. now we have Mackenzie. Are you ready? How are we on time, though? Are we are we good on time? Or when when do we go to? I just want to we know. We have enough. We have enough time to finish with Mackenzie, and then after that, we can we can close for sure. Oh, fabulous. Okay. Hi. Um. um my name is Mackenzie, um, and I would like to sing Torna Mia Vagheggiar from Handel's Alcina. Thank you.
You are adorable. <laughs> what is your story and what is your relationship to this piece? I'm curious. You, it was beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, um, I um, am going into my senior year at university next year. Um, I'm from Washington State, and I picked up this piece with my teacher as kind of a quarantine project um, last year and then kind of put it away, but um, I hated it at first, and now I love it. Like, yeah. it's my favorite piece, and so I've just kind of been, like, busy with finals and everything, and I feel like I wanted to sing something again that makes me remember I love to sing, so I'm kind of <laughs> singing it this semester, so... Well, thank you. And I have to say, probably on behalf of everybody, that you made us enjoy it so much, too. Your enjoyment of the piece really shone through. And we all just, oh, <laughs> so just everybody had a smile on their face. So um, really, really gorgeous, gorgeous singing, gorgeous treatment of the ornaments. Um, there are some notes that you sing, caro, these pieces, particularly like caro, caro in the beginning, when you have the longer sustained notes that are just to die for, gorgeous, mm -hmm. caro, it's luscious. Um, you have a nice velvety sound to your voice that I can tell on the computer as much as I can tell, um, which is so nice to hear in this piece, um, because of course it's uh, often sung by coloratura and it's nice to hear that warmth in there. Um, what made you love it? Um, yeah, it was uh, once I started adding ornaments. Um, and once also I felt like I could do it because when I got assigned it, I was like, oh, I don't know if I can do this. It was really different than anything I had done. It definitely takes a little bit of stamina. And then once I just worked on it forever, found out I could do it and yeah. then made it my own. It was so much fun. So well, it looks easy for you. So yeah, it's a very, very easy for you. Um, so the only thing I think there's so much great that you do. Um, the section I would like to look at a little bit is the B section. What are the words at the beginning of the B section? So I didn't understand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Donail Nail Miokor, is that correct? Yes. Good. So, do you have a pianist live with you? No, it's a track. So. Right. Would you, if you don't have a keyboard, I can just try to give you pitches. Yeah. Now, would you mind doing some a cappella singing? That would be great. Yeah, great. Yeah. Thank you. Of course. Uh, so. Let's see. Jati Do. So, uh, D. So here, Jati Dona il mio cor. I worked with a singer once and I said, oh, You have such great diction, and what do you do? And he has this famous teacher in New York. I said, Well, my teacher just told me that you have to say it like you're crazy. <laughs> what is that? Like you're crazy. What does that mean? And it made a lot more sense on the big stage for certain, certain passages. This might be one of them. You need to just try a little harder and exaggerate, but you might feel crazy while you're doing it. Okay. <laughs> Before you start, what are you thinking in this B section? What is your character thinking? And then the color changes as usual for B section. Yeah, it's kind of this moment of like, what if he doesn't like me back? Like, I've already given you my heart mm -hmm. and yeah. now you're being cruel because you're not telling me. So, yeah. <laughs> Chati dona il mio cor. Again, the work is in the eyes, which you do pretty well. But I would go further to create that contrast of, oh no, what if this happens? Yeah, <laughs> just, you can always be pulled back by your directors, you know. But uh, but try that. Here's your pitch one more time. Chati dona il mio cor. Yeah, cor. Let that be, that was great. I understood that perfectly. Let that be your goal. And you don't have to punch it. Cor! You just think that that's da da. Not that you did that, but. Chati dona il mio cor. You just land there. Okay. Try it again. Here's your pitch. Chati dona il mio cor. The words again? Yeah. Chati dona il mio cor. Chati dona il mio cor. Keep going. Go 
what are the words there? Mati. What are the words? Mati saro crudel. But we do need a little bit more diction there mm. on that one. I lost you there. Okay. Uh, you, it makes a big difference to me in my ear when you exaggerate the diction just a little bit. It was a big difference to me as a listener. So could you just try that again from the beginning now when you know the direction of the phrase and just be in character and give us words? Okay, try it one more time here. Beautiful. What'll help you there is cru. Can you roll your R's? Yeah. Cru. Da, 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 cru whatever that is, whatever that phrase is. Girl. And go to that. I'm sorry. Can you just tell me what the actual words are? Yeah. My tisaro crudel. Okay. My tisaro crudel. So when you roll the R, you can do it in the U position. You roll the R in the vowel that comes after the R. So. Cru, cru, cru. Yeah. And and really color that cruel. But it's not like cruel, right? It's, oh, he would be so cruel if he did that. Cruel, right? So, matisaro crudel. Matisaro crudel, You're so good, so I'm getting really picky because you're so good. <laughs> I'm hearing ma. Ma, ma, pure vowel. Yeah, try it again with the rolled CR. The, I know, I know, it's all so many things at once. I get, I get very, when I hear a voice and some brains, <laughs> there's like, you can do it, you can do it. Let's dig deeper. Okay. It's so it's so good. Yeah, keep going. God, oh, da, 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 and really feel that. Da, da, da. Let yourself change. Oh no, this is great. Everything's perfect again. All right, so just try it from where you left off. What pitch mm -hmm. is that? Um, mm -hmm. Maybe a B flat if I'm guessing. You can actually take it from God, oh, me, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, B. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Ah, ka. We want a real pure ah. That's gorgeous. I I meant to actually thank you for doing that again because the first time I heard it, it was beautifully sung, gorgeous technique. But I had a little trouble um, defining that high high pitch that you sang. What do you do? Da da da. Da, da, dum, dum. Is that the pitch? So I'm probably coming out a little sharp, yeah. Oh, you're not going. No, it's okay. Maybe try, try it again from caro. It just wasn't super clear. Hmm, yeah, I can definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Caro. Caro. Gorgeous to add the little like frosting and cherry on the cake. <laughs> I think you can go a little further with your character there. What is the over, if you had one word to describe the emotion of that cadenza, what would it be? Heart wrenching, maybe? Like, uh... ah. <laughs> you see what you just did there with your eyes? I just think you can make it a little bit more alive that way because it's sung beautifully. So just tr try to keep the character alive there. And then, then okay. God. Yeah. 
uh, oh, that was gorgeous. I snapped because it's like, oh, the music. Uh, da, da, da. And <laughs> what you'll hear a lot from directors is when the music changes like that, by the way, that was really beautiful if I didn't tell you, tell you again. Um, when the music changes like that, you can foreshadow it. Hmm. I wouldn't necessarily always wait for the music to, in this case, <laughs> so the music sometimes reacts to you and sometimes you react to the music that you're, you know, rather your accompaniment because you are the music. Um, but, you know, just think that you obviously don't have your piano player present. Give me time for that if you like that. Spin. Nope, it's good. <laughs> it's all good. Um, and then, blum, 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 blum. Um, so yeah, it's just up to you if you want to do that, but just a, an option. Um, really, really beautiful. Da, 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 da. That was the only thing. Uh, yeah, that was it. That was it. I thought it was really, really, really gorgeous. Rob Vesey. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Work. All right. Good. So, um, all right. So we're at time. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for. Uh, however, Nicole, if you would like to share uh, any email or any way people can keep up with you or reach out to you, then please feel free to put that in the chat or call it out and I'll type it for you. Yeah. Well, actually, all you have to do is go to the Eastman website and my profile is on the Eastman website and you can just find my information there. My Eastman email is fine to reach me at. So anybody with sure. questions or stay in contact, please do reach me there. Great work, everybody. You were all really beautiful singers. Absolutely, absolutely. Congratulations to all of you, to Mackenzie, Leah, Skyler, and Marin on wonderful performances and coming so prepared to work uh, with Nicole this evening. Well, as always, we appreciate your time, Nicole, and uh, good luck, best of luck, break a leg on tomorrow night with the opening night. And I hope that everyone is enjoying the convention. This is actually our last day of classes. Tomorrow we have our final rounds. And so I hope that you all will join us for that. But we have one more master class tonight, and that is with Carol Vaness. So that starts in just about 15 minutes. So go get some water, take a, a, a breather, and I hope that you can join us back for that main stage master class. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you again, Nicole, and have a wonderful night. Thank Bye -bye. you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you.